If you're a Dart Light Rail fan of 5 years or older, you probably know about the light rail system, the individual lines, or the LRVs themselves. But besides the LRVs road number, you probably don't pay attention to the number fonts or number decal colors, like this, or this. If you know the road numbers, you think 101 is the oldest, right? Well, today, I'll be explaining something not even most Dart employees know. The mystery behind LRVs 101 and 102, along with hints to future documentaries featuring an LRV that nobody ever knew existed. So without further ado, let's begin. To better explain this, we we'll need to go about 30 years back to when the LRVs were being built by Kinky Shario. As we all know, Kinki Shario is a Japanese manufacturer. The trains were built in Osaka, Japan, and as everyone knows, Japan is an earthquake-prone country. So this all played out in Osaka, Japan, where Kinki Shario is based on, in 1994, on a, jan on a day in January. DART had ordered 40 LRVs, numbered 101 through 140, but specifically for this documentary, I'll be talking about 101 and 102. So, 101 and 102 were being built, when suddenly, an earthquake hit. The violent shaking was so intense that it damaged both 101 and 102. And of course, the other 38 LRVs were likely there too, but as I said, we're talking about these two here. 101 was heavily damaged, 101, 102 was too, but not apparently as bad. Thus, 101 was rebuilt and renumbered. 101, as in the one being built, not the one that we know today, was renumbered to 102 and received an original number font, or color, whatever you want to call it, but I'll talk about this later. But yep, this is true. The original 101 is still in service today as 102. The real 102, however, was also rebuilt into 101. So technically, this means 102 is the oldest LRV, and 101 is slightly young. As for the other LRVs, they were rebuilt or repaired depending on their level of damage, and kept their number. Then, the LRVs were sent on their way and shipped overseas. But before I go on, I need to tell you about something. I literally got this information from a simple YouTube comment. That's right, I was able to make this documentary from a few comments and self-education. While I was researching this, there were two theories. The first one was that there was supposed to be an LRV-100, but it was destroyed in the earthquake and thus scrapped. Another theory was that it got turned into 101, and 101 got turned into 102, and 102 got turned into... Wait, that makes no sense. Start ordered... 40 LRVs, 101 to 140, known as F-50 or Fleet 50. So if 100 existed, because surely it doesn't. Oh, what? Anyways, if 100 existed as a real LRV, there'd be 41 LRV. And if each LRV got rebuilt, 141 would have been an F-50 instead of an F-51. So knowing this, both theories turned out to be false. Okay, now we can move on. The first batch of LRVs arrived at Croft Yard in DGNO in 1995. But wait, I've technically explained the mystery behind the two, so why is the video not done? Well, the truth is, I'm just extending this video to make you keep Just kidding, but I do need to explain a little more. But yeah, the LRVs were tested for one year on end. But well, this isn't exactly related to the mystery, as I've kind of already told you what happened. But I still do need to explain more. So the two LRVs served on both lines, collecting many miles over the years. So pretty much, the F-50s were, and still are, tanks. Basically saying they're very really reliable, despite their age. <coughs> 132. Ah, uh, sorry, I forgot. Those, these F-50s. Wait, do I have a speech issue or something? Anyways, yeah, as I was saying, 
This F-50 isn't really that reliable, considering it has been in the shop for quite a while now. I mean, it hasn't been to the, in the shop this whole time, but it has kind of broken down twice, so. However, this does call for a future documentary, so if you want to see that, stay tuned. If you've ever looked closely, you might have seen 102 has something up with its number decal. Now, I mentioned this earlier during chapter 1. And 143 has this too. Can you see it? Okay, we both know what it is at this point. It's pretty obvious now that it has a different colored number decal. While 143 is the only one with light blue number decal, 102 is the only LRV with black number decal. Though... I'm not sure if 101 has black number decals too, because I was only told that 102 did, does, but whatever. The other two LRVs with black number decals are 157, at least it looks like it, and 100. And yep, 100 does, it does exist, but 100 itself is for another documentary, and it seems... 157 got new decals after the rebuild, so technically the black number, color, or font, whatever, isn't original. But on 143 it is, because the only other color seen on the number decals were really white. As you can see here on LRV 208, in which is a video I filmed in 2019 with absolutely horrible quality. Of course, white was only used when LRVs were wrapped, but on LRV 228, a black color was used. And unlike all of the wraps today, the number background was not cut out like this. 107 actually still has the old style number font too, as you can see. Hopefully it won't lose that font anytime soon. But with our luck, 107 cannot even take power, so it's pretty likely that it might just be unwrapped and used for parts. Oh, and one more thing. You can see that this is probably the only LRV in dark history that has a different font used on the numbers. As you can see there on 141 is the normal font, noticeably the 1. And as you can see on 107, it's obviously a different font. Personally, the way they do it now is just pretty pathetic. I mean, look at this. They literally just peeled out the uh, spot of the wrap to show the road number. I mean, they probably don't care about how the number is as long as it's shown and visible, but... If you look up some pictures from wraps like 225, 228, 208, even 107, they look much cooler than whatever this is. And if you notice the way I positioned this too, well, it was kind of on purpose. Matter of fact, Don Dart has done this too when they wrapped LRV 208. Normally, the road number goes under the second window, or the middle window in this case, but on 238, the road number went on under the first window. Oh, come on, you don't even believe me? Fine, I'll show you. Here, is this enough proof? If you zoom in closely, you can see that the road number on the A car is right under the first window. And if you zoom in on the C car, you can see the road number is placed on the door. And better yet, if you zoom in on the B car, you can see that the road number is placed in between the first and second windows. Honestly, this is the weirdest placement for road numbers on I've ever seen. Really. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm practically speechless from seeing this anyways i'll sit back on topic as you can see they literally peeled out the spot where the road number is 
They didn't even bother even trying to just replace the decals and make the road number white. I mean, of course, they don't care about the road number as long as it's shown. So that's probably why they stopped doing it the old way, I guess. But this way, this new way is like absolutely pathetic. And look at 193s. You can see they just peeled out the part where the road number is. But on the 3, it looks like that they replaced the decal and it, and that's the background. So I guess they're just too lazy to actually replace the decal. So they just do this. And 113, don't even get me started. As you can see, the wrap is covering like half of the one so what they probably do is maybe change the color of the decals before replacing them or cut out the part of the wrap where the decals are and just like change their color or something i have no clue but back to 143 143's number decals were original if they've been replaced because no other LRV has had this light blue number decals. Because you can clearly see from a distance that the number decals are blue. So if you zoom in enough here, you can probably see that 143's decals are noticeably blue, if you will. Oh, should I mention the fact that it's missing like half its navy stripe? Or maybe, well, a quarter. I should learn to count or something. And it doesn't really make sense either because 143 was wrapped. And they, of course, cut out a piece of the road number where it was supposed to be. So I don't know why its number, number decals are or were light blue. One thing I do know, though, is that 145 was wrapped and now it has black inverter. Or maybe had, I don't know, I took this photo on like May 6th when I originally did the Silver Line documentary, which is coming soon, so stay tuned. But this would make more sense than 143 because 145 was wrapped for Coca-Cola and it was wrapped in almost entirely black, so it makes sense that it would have black inverters. But I don't know why they're, they are or were black. And on the number of fonts, you can see that the that from a distance that that and the navy stripe appear black. But to me, the number decals actually appear black for some reason. Not sure if they were changed or repainted or something. But again, these are not original number fonts or colors. So yeah. 143, 100, 102, 157, and possibly 145 all have unique number decals or fonts. As for the other 160, <coughs> 159 LRVs, uh, yeah, sorry. I forgot 177 got retired. But if you watched my last documentary, you might have heard me say that I didn't know anything about 177. Well, that was true, but right after, I quickly learned a lot about it. Now I would tell you here, but I kind of have another documentary planned, so forget I said, forget I said anything, and I can't speak again, I guess, so. Okay, yeah, sorry about that, but I did kind of forget 177 got retired. Totally. But anyways, if you want to know what happened to it, I will make another documentary for that eventually, but that will have to be in like two months because I will not be able to make it in July for reasons that I will not be telling you. Anyways, the other LRVs, the other 159... LRVs have navy blue number decals, of course, as I said, as their default decal. And of course, from a distance, the 
navy blue stripe and the decals appear black, but of course they're not. Oh, well, when I said 160 and 159 LRVs, I actually meant 158 LRVs because I'm including, including 143, but... Yeah, if you want to count 100 as an LRV, which it technically could be, then 159 would be theoretically correct. But Dark doesn't want to let go of there. We have 163 LRVs in our fleet, so even though it could technically be 162 because 177 got retired after the derailment, which bent its frame, or 164, which is adding 100 anyway back on topic so while the number while the navy blue stripe and the number decals do appear black for from a distance the darts color scheme is really yellow white and blue so it is pretty rare rather next to impossible for a dart L lrv to have a different number decal color or font now, you can search up pictures of previous ad wraps that Dart had, or you can just watch videos and see for yourself. Because honestly, some wraps are uglier than others. Like, don't tell anybody, but this wrap on 136, 139, and 219 makes me want to throw up because it looks so ugly. And it's been on for like two years now. They should already take it off. And while we're on the spectrum, what is this eyesore i mean look at it you can't you can even see it. that's not like wrapped perfectly you can see that part of the paint is showing through should i also mention the fact that the that one of the accordion panels aren't even wrapped for whatever reason i mean this is 259 which has thankfully been unwrapped but still this wrap looks completely ugly i mean take a look at <laughs> Anyways, I want to thank you for watching this video. I know it was a bit long, but I do plan to make a series of documentaries in August. I, as I said in the video, I cannot make them in July due to, and due to some random reasons. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.